Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple bathroom stall for your restaurant or your store. If you want to add one, this would be what you need to do. Go on my website, download the template. It'll have the measurements and everything on there. That's under Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials. Once you're there, then you want to go ahead and cut out all of the pieces. Once you have it all cut out, then you want to go ahead and take the backboard and you're going to take it and press it against the sideboard, just like this, making it even. Okay, so you also want to put some masking tape underneath of it, so when you get it all done, you can hold the masking tape on there a little bit easier. All right, and then you want to grab another side piece. Go ahead and apply the glue to the side of that, if you like, or you can put it on the side of this, whichever is easier for you. It's probably easier to put it on this and then just have it ready. All right, once you have that done, then you want to go ahead and set that up. At this point, you want to level it out and everything and make sure it's straight. And then go to the next piece and add another back wall. And you're going to continue this process until you have all the back walls that you want. You need one back wall for every stall that you decide you're going to use. If you're going to have six stalls, then you need six back walls. Okay? So now you're going to take the next one. Make sure that the bottoms are even because it needs to sit even in order to stand up straight. Okay? Then you're going to add another wall here and continue that process. Okay, so now once you have as many stalls as you want, take the doors and stand them up inside there. And then you want to put your masking tape and pull it all together. The doors are going to keep it square. Just leave it taped like that and let it dry overnight. And then you can come back and you can attach the doors. And remember when you're attaching the doors, there's always room at the top and there's always room at the bottom. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to cut your little quarter inch by quarter inch pieces of wooden dowel. You want to put a drill hole in it using the stick pen method, which you can find that tutorial on my website under building tips and tricks. And then you want to go to the very edge of this and you want to go in straight or otherwise it'll pop out like it just did. All right, let me try that again. Watch your fingers when you're doing it. Okay. Don't go so long at first because that's how come that did that. The other ones I didn't do that with because I was close at the edge. All right. So, again, you're going to pre-drill it. You're going to poke this into the pre-drill hole. Be very careful not to poke yourself. Once it starts to come through, then you want to go to the very edge of your door. Go in the middle of the edge of that door. You want to go ahead and Press that down in there. You want to have it overhang the back just a tiny bit. Not a lot. And be careful not to have these fly all over the place, otherwise it could potentially be an issue. Now that one drilled crooked, so I'm going to have to redo that. Okay, after you have it, you want to pull it away from the door just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit there. You can use a piece of cardstock or something to make sure you get them all pulled away just even enough. Okay, or if you have something else that you can stick in there, you know, just to make sure that they're uniform in spacing, then you can do that.
Okay. Once that's done, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your wire cutters and snip off the top of this, and then you're going to put some crazy glue on it. Okay, so just go ahead and cut that right there. Be careful not to cut your finger. Okay, so I went ahead and pre-marked inside where I want to have my lines. So that's where my door is going to go. My door needs to line up in there. Um, anyway, so once you have that done, then you want to go ahead and use either some wood glue or some glue that's good for crazy, um, wood or um, metal. And then you're going to attach your door frame. So I'm just going to do a little bit of glue right there. You don't need a lot of this stuff. And a little bit right there. And I'm using the crazy glue in the gel form because it actually will end up working out better for me than using wood glue because this stuff sets up faster and because it is such a small space I want it to be able to adhere a little bit better so I'm just going to go ahead and attach that like that okay one more thing you need to round the back of your door I forgot to tell you that um, the easiest way to do that is to just sand it and I do this after I put the pens in, that way I have more wood to work with. That quick gets rounded. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and clamp your door. Okay, and if for some reason your door, I'm not gonna open it because it's still wet, but if for some reason it won't open, take a thin piece of sandpaper and just sand back here. Okay, so it should open like that, but like I said, if it does not, then you just need to sand it a little bit in here, and that's easy to do. All right, the next thing you need to do is you need to cut yourself your one inch, inch pieces, and you're going to fit them in here. They should be the same width as back here, and then that's just your cross member. Okay, again, I'm just using the crazy glue to attach this piece because it is such a tiny piece that it's not really going to be much for it to hold on to. Also, I'm going to get my masking tape ready ahead of time so that I can squeeze it together. Now, once you do this, um, you may have to go back and sand the edge of your door just a little bit okay and that's why you need the masking tape because it wants to fall just like that do that here, here. Okay, so you should have them all three across the top like that. You're gonna let them dry, and while they're sitting there, what you can do to just help add extra secure to, security to them, you can put a little dab of glue across the top. That's just going to help it just like that. Okay, so it's still drying, but the doors do open. And they swing inward as well, like a regular bathroom door does. Now, I can see this one wants to stick just a little bit right up here, so I'm just going to sand that right there a little bit. And it's probably just how the board was done or it could be over a little bit too far on the hinge that way. I'll have to check that out, see which it is. If the board's just plain a little too thick or if it's just the way I have the hinge. Just like that. And that's what it's gonna look like. Now, of course, they need to be painted, and they need toilets. OK, 
Okay guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials, and on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time. And leave a comment, question, or suggestion because we love hearing from you. And if you like Pinterest, we have tons of pens on there as well under Laurie Holden Heisler. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a great day.